Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here then a big hello. In today's video I'm going to run through one of the key things that a lot of new owners worry about when it comes to taming their baby guinea pigs. And a lot of this also applies to older skittish guinea pigs as well, so no matter what age of piggy you have this video will come in useful. So when we have scared skittish guinea pigs who aren't used to being handled at all, a lot of new owners wonder when are they ready for lap time, how do I start out with it and how do I get into a routine with cuddle time. And when they're so very small it is extra scary because we might have an anxiety about dropping them, about them escaping somehow and something terrible happening. And also we don't want to scare them any more than they might seem already. So with little Callie here she is only just over three months old and trust me I would not have been holding her like this two weeks ago when I first got her. So it is possible to make quite quick progress with this but just remember it always depends on your individual piggy and their personality. And even if things are taking longer than we would like just remain patient and with time in the end you will get there. Isn't that right? You want to go back in now? Yes, you're biting me. And the second thing to remember is that it's a learning experience for both you and your guinea pig. So if you're someone who is quite nervous and has anxieties about picking up your guinea pigs, just remember that the only way to overcome that is to do it more and practice. And as you get better and more confident at handling them, they'll pick up on that and you can both be more comfortable in each other's company. So with those very important things in mind, our first main tip is all about knowing when they are ready for lap time. So you should already be doing other taming techniques like talking to them while they're in the cage, extending your hand out to see if they'll come and sniff it, and slowly working up towards hand feeding. And I will pop a video with all my taming techniques and a sort of step-by-step -step process down in the description if you want to watch that one, but I recommend watching this one first while you're here. And I think the time is right when they don't immediately run for cover every time you move your arm or when you come into the room. And also when they start to show that flicker of curiosity when you extend your hand out to them. Like they might consider coming up to say hello or they might think about trying to take a treat out of your hand if you're holding it out to them. And for Callie this was around the one week mark but it can be longer for more scared skittish guinea pigs who haven't been handled or around humans that much. However I wouldn't really leave it any longer than a fortnight otherwise you can build up anxiety about handling them in the first place. And if you haven't got your guinea pigs yet and you're researching to get them, you might choose to start out with adult guinea pigs from a rescue, knowing that they might be more well socialised and also knowing that you can skip that stage when they are extremely skittish as a baby. So when you're ready to get started with lap time, and importantly before you take them out of the cage, make sure you have in mind where you're going to sit with them, and I recommend getting a nice fleecy blanket out ready too. Somewhere quiet is best in the beginning. And as for picking them out of the cage, there's more on this later, but for baby piggies some might be fairly easy to pick up, as they will be kind of frozen and just let it happen. If they are running away though, the best way is to probably encourage them into a bed or cuddle sack, and lift them out securely whilst making sure they can't do any crazy leaps of faith. The same goes for transporting them. In case you aren't familiar with young piggies, they can be very fast and very easily spooked. That's why I said I wouldn't be holding Callie that way at the start of the video. Always hold baby piggies securely with both hands and if they are small enough to fit in one palm, still use your other hand to cup over the top of them to stop them jumping out of your hands. So now comes the good part. Sit down with your piggy and you can either continue holding them against you or you can let them snuggle in that blanket that you got out ready for them. Again, just be aware if they are very skittish they might want to make a break for it but usually most piggies will calm down a lot once they have that blanket to cuddle up in. You can uncover them a little bit and start off by giving them gentle strokes on the head and neck whilst talking calmly to them. At this point they might still feel very scared and might be pretty much unresponsive but don't worry this is completely normal. It's called the unresponsive prey reflex and it's actually an inbuilt behaviour that all our guinea pigs have to avoid being eaten. So don't try to snap them out of it and don't worry about traumatising them either. As you do lap time more and more they will naturally stop being as frozen. Once they do start getting a bit braver they might start giving you a sniff or a nibble or a lick. It's the 
not that guinea pigs like the taste of salt on our skin, but I'm pretty sure that some piggies use licking as a sign to say, I'm ready to go back in the cage now, please. Either way, once they start being a bit more responsive in your lap, that's when you can try some hand feeding. Favourite foods like leafy green lettuces and other fresh veggies or even fresh grass should work. And if they aren't keen yet, don't push them, just keep offering each lap time until they realise it's safe enough to have something to eat. Combining hand feeding with talking to them and gentle strokes will really help to reinforce the idea that you mean good things and you're nothing to be afraid of. And if you have older piggies who are already used to lap time, you might wonder if it's a good idea to get them all out together. And I would say yes, definitely, baby piggies learn so much off their older herd members. But I would just wait until you are happy that your baby is not going to try and escape. The easiest way would probably be if you have someone else involved and they can take the older pig or piggies whilst you watch over the young one. And if you have two babies, the same applies. Get them out together when you can. Oftentimes there will be one more confident one who will help teach his or her friend not to be so scared. As with a lot of taming techniques, the best piece of advice I can give you is to set up a routine with your new piggies. In the beginning, when they are still quite unresponsive, five or ten minutes once a day is enough. But as they start getting a little more brave, you might want to take them out for longer or take them out more often. And you can also try them in different surroundings, like whilst you're watching TV or listening to the radio. You'll find that they will quite quickly get used to unfamiliar sounds. So basically, do your best to do lap time as often as possible to help them become tame quicker. And also remember that it's valuable time for us to sit and take a break from our busy stressful lives. If you do end up having them out for longer periods of time then a good tip is to have a cardboard box filled with hay on the side to pop them in for a toilet break and a munch on some hay every 10 minutes or so. You could also use a waterproof pad on your lap to be super safe but most piggies are quite good at telling us when they need to go by nibbling or licking at your hands. So it takes a lot of effort, but in the end it can be so rewarding. As you've just seen there with Callie, and as you will with your own piggies, it's really lovely to see them settling down and relaxing during cuddle time, and knowing that that is just helping her become more brave and more tame around us. I really hope these tips have helped you when it comes to thinking about cuddle time with your guinea pigs, but if you want to learn more about how to actually go about picking them up in the cage, the different ways you can do it, and how to understand a bit more on guinea pigs, psychology then I highly recommend watching this video next. As always thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye!